One of the things that I do every confirmation is uh, introduce the idea of the Holy Spirit coming upon the apostles through a song. The song is very simple. Holy Spirit, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Holy Spirit, come on in the room. Bless my soul, bless my soul, bless my soul. The power of the Spirit that we receive at Pentecost is a Spirit that en enables us, enlivens us with the life of the risen Christ that we are called to experience together. The apostles, when they were locked in that room, they were afraid, they lived in fear, and they trembled at the thought that, of what the Jews might do them. But once the Holy Spirit descended upon them, they received power and strength to give testimony, to bear witness to what it meant for them to know and experience the power of the risen Christ in their lives. The church was born as they went forth with courage, with holy boldness, and said to the world about who Jesus is and all that God has shown them and shown us in uh, this Christ who is our Messiah. We are called as disciples of Jesus Christ to bring that same new life to one another, to go forth into the world and, and to preach the good news of Jesus, the new life that he has won for us. We do that through great signs and wonders, one of which is forgiveness. By the way in which we forgive, we bring new life and awareness to relationships we have with one another. And we are called to let those relationships be signs of love, of newness of life that we have in Christ Jesus. Each and every one of us has this charge and it is ours to keep. To do that, we have to ask the Spirit to come on us, be with us, bless our souls, renew our hearts, enliven our spirits so that we might be living testimonies of God to others. Live in holy boldness this Pentecost season.